Yeah. Well, hello there. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm fantastic. Fantastic. Um, I managed to get myself into the gym today. I did not feel like doing it. It felt like crap all day today. I've had horrible hay fever, but um, we done it. We got to the gym in the end. It's because I've challenged you to be able to break a watermelon with your thighs. I fair can. Well, hey, well, hey, well, hey. We're going to get onto that party trick soon, actually. Um... Okay, let's introduce ourselves to each other's guests. Um, two minutes. Tell us a little bit about Amazonian Charlie. A little bit about me. Okay, for those of you who don't know me, hello guys. I'm Amazonian Charlie, also known as Charlie Mill. Um, I am a six foot five British model who also works on the TV for Game Station. Um, I have many hobbies, including lifting up small men, which is also my work, um, horse riding, keeping fit, etc, etc. I like to think I have a good sense of humour, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. And um, yeah, I'm just here for a nice good time, really, showing off everything tall. Yeah, you, you seem to be different today. Something seems to be a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more busty today, but we won't go into it because this is TikTok. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it wasn't no wasn't as noticeable um, yesterday, but um, but yeah, guys, this is this is ten questions with a tall girl. Charlie, is there any chance we could get you to stand up for two seconds just to show people how tall you are? <laughs> Let me move this out of the way. I can't even see me. Wow. There. Wow. Nine. Uh, do, do you know what? Do you know what does the shot justice? That that shot with you by your fridge freezer. That is just insane. Which one? The, oh, the, the, the American the, style. The one. American style fridge freezer. This girl is bigger than a fridge freezer, guys. <laughs> I, have, I have better than a fridge freezer too. I should hope so. Well, we're, well, we're gonna see. Um, okay, ten questions with a tall girl. I'm gonna start it off. What is the hardest challenge about being a gigantic, tall girl? Shoes. Wow, okay. <laughs> Start with the shoes. Start with the shoes. How how big are your feet? I have UK size 12 to 13 feet. And I clearly have a very holy sock here as well. There we go. That's great to put on TikTok. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise that my socks were so holy. My God, that's horrendous. There we are. Anyway, I have UK size 12 to 13 feet. Um, so finding female shoes is very, very difficult for me. Okay, okay. Okay, you answered that. Um, and six foot five, did you say you are? Yeah. How's, what's the, what's the tallest you are with like your heels and stuff? Seven foot three. Jesus, what is that? What, what, is, what is that like when you go into public and like, you know, people see this, you know, Amazon, Amazon, I'm Amazon beauty in front of them. I actually wore those shoes that made me seven foot three to Comic Con in London last year. Oh wow! And I literally, I had to spend the whole day with them. I only fell over once, um, which I'm very proud of. Um, I literally couldn't fit through any doors at all. Um, I had everybody stopping and asking for photos because clearly it is a massive sight. Um, I made a Dalek look like a Smurf, basically. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, it's very unique. Clearly, I have a better view than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is um, that is a bit crazy. Um, okay, so um, you, obviously you mentioned the hardest part is finding shoes and stuff. Um, let's talk a little bit more about you growing up as a child, being this. Oh, my my camera's just falling off. Hello, lovely. This isn't this isn't live, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> camera, camera just fell off the side. First time that's happened in a while. Live TV for you guys. There we go. Keep the blooper. There we go. Oh, sh Ugh, that's a better shot actually. Move over. Try and move over. Very where handsome. Thank you very much, my dear. What did I say? Where, where was I? I was asking you. Yes, as a child growing up, obviously you develop thick skin as you grow older, and you've become really successful with your other adventures. So that's that's built up severe thick skin. But what about when you was at a young, a young, a young teeny bopper at school and college? Like, what was that like for you? Like, you know, being so tall. Um, it was very difficult for me as an individual, um, because I was extremely larger than everybody else. Um, I did go through a uh, very severe bullying. Um, it was a very difficult time for me as a as a young female. Um, 
So that's, I think it shaped me into the person that I am today, but it definitely was not easy. I've been six foot five since I was 14 years old. Six, since, wow, 14. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And did you ever get into any sort of scrapes um, with like other people? I know we had a brief touch on it yesterday, but we'll touch on it again. Only, only the one which I mentioned yesterday, which was from a female that was, um, oh, hang on. With some restrictive, there we go. We're clearly not very appropriate. Um, <laughs> and only with um, a, a female that had been being difficult towards me for a few years. Okay. Uh, so that was one. That was one scrap that happened. Wow. Okay. We won't touch on too much of that because TikTok seems to be very, very sensitive to sort of anything, especially with um, you know the old Spice Girls sort of attachment and stuff like that. You know, so they seem to be very um, you know. So we'll keep this. We'll keep this um, PG friendly, shall we say. Um, so, your party trick you mentioned the other day, crushing a watermelon with, yeah. your, with your bare thighs. Yeah. I mean, that's, that, that, yeah, that's been scaring me. That's, that, that, that's been scaring me. I, I have been thinking about getting crushed by those big thighs. Like, literally, like, you know, just, <laughs> I just think about it, just, you can crush a watermelon with your thighs. And we have to do that video as well when we meet up as well. That just, that is a must. That's the challenge. You you got to try. Cry. I think what, now that I think about it, I think I probably could. To be fair, I think oh, I probably right could. Then. All right then. Okay, we'll see. I think I probably could because you said. Uh, and what can you bench press with your like leg press? Sorry, with your with your legs. Thirty stones. Thirty stones. Wow. And we we think we discovered yesterday that's like two hundred and something kg, isn't it? Two hundred yes. and something kg. Okay, I can actually do that. I was doing that today actually as well, doing a little leg press in the gym. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't get to two hundred actually, but two hundred is a lot of work. I just based. What did I do? I think I did one eighty actually. I did one eighty today. That's still impressive for a short man. A short man. I'm like six foot. <laughs> I'm a short. No, no, I'm not quite six foot actually. I'm five. I'm five ten to be fair. Five ten slash eleven. So you know. Is that? Oh, not right. Is that? Do you know what though? They've got those Heelys that you can buy. You can put them in your trainers. I might when we meet up. I might have to, these. They're like these inner sole things that you put in. They, you can put them in any pair of trainers, and they give you. They give you an extra. They can give you up to an extra three inches. Believe it or not. Yeah, but then what happens when you take your shoes off? Oh, you, you just don't. That's the trick. You just don't take them off. You're... Okay, so you're like going to sleep, like with this person, and you just keep your shoes on. I mean, if somebody kept their socks on, I'd be a bit like, I think you're okay with shoes. <laughs> yeah i'm not i'm not even going to touch on that because tiktok is very sensitive to stuff like that <laughs> they are they are they're, they're really bad tiktok when it comes to stuff like that unfortunately so i won't um, put any restrictions on i haven't had any in a while on hair as well um tell me something interesting about you other than the tallness and all the rest of it something interesting about you a little bit more a little bit more intimate about not intimate so so, so to speak you know intimate intimate but you know just a little bit more about you I am actually a qualified riding instructor. Wow. What, horse riding? Yes. You, I know when the horses see you, boy, they're running. They're like, not me, please! <laughs> so I, um, I break and re break horses in. Wow. You break them in? Yes. Yeah, so basically, clearly, horses aren't born being able to be ridden and take command. So we have a, we have a thing called breaking horses in, and that's what we're taught to go under the saddle, etc., and interact and be ridden or driven um and i am qualified to do that mm. wow i've done a little bit of breaking in in my time but oh lord oh lord oh lord i was just joking guys i haven't, I haven't done any of that so yeah, horse riding so, so horse riding's a passion horse riding's a passion of yours is it yeah very much so okay so have you got a lovely black beauty hiding somewhere have i got one a lovely black beauty hiding somewhere are you on the camera? No. Um... <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you ruined you ruined my punchline because I was gonna be like, um, <laughs> are you looking are you looking for a, are you looking for a stallion? I was gonna say. I was gonna... You're not, you're not quick enough. I, I was waiting for you. I, was, I I had my rebuttal ready, but you just sort of jumped in and took it. But never mind. What yeah, I'm with you. That's why. Okay, so you're six foot five. Okay, so dating. What is it like dating? Like you know, everyone else other than you know little people <laughs> that's what's it like dating it's, it, i don't know it's, it, i mean it's difficult dating in today's society anyway i mean i'm not actively looking for anybody as we have touched on previously 
um, but it's definitely not short of offers, shall we say? Mm. Um, but that might just be because my height attracts, you know, those individuals because it is so different. It's quite rare, so I do tend to attract those individuals. Um, but yeah, I think dating for anybody is hard, but I think dating for somebody that is above six foot as a female is even harder. Wow, wow. And um, yeah, we touched on that yesterday, in it, where we were talking about, you know, obviously not not just being a sort of fetish almost, like where a guy sees a massive lady and thinks, oh yeah, I want to, you know, try, I want to climb that mountain, you know? I want to climb that tree. That's what I get all the time. Oh, I can climb that tree. Wow, wow. <laughs> if you ever come across a tall lady, please don't say that to us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we touched on that as well, um, on how you want to be, how you want to be sort of like, I don't know what's the correct what's the correct word accepted or not not so much accepted but you know when you're walking out in the streets obviously someone sees someone a woman that's really tall pretty woman and they want to sort of like obviously there's going to be a lot of staring but like how would you prefer people to sort of be around you like you know someone's really excited oh my god you're so tall i gotta have a picture of you does that get annoying a little bit when it's when it's it's not annoying as such because i always i find it lovely that want to come and have photos with me you know it's, it's a very different contrast to what it was when I was growing up um but when you can see that somebody is indeed busy and just going about their day and they've got a handful of groceries etc it's probably not the best time to come and do that um you know if, you, if you're in a bit more of a chill situation where you're just chilling out and uh you know having a drink and having a laugh etc then yeah go ahead by all means fantastic but if I'm in boots and I've got all my personal hygiene products i really don't want to have to put my tampons down so i could take wow. a photo of you about me all right wow <laughs> wow oh my god so um <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just loads of loads of funny things just pop into my head. It's one of my. I think it's. I think it's a a defect of my ADHD sort of thing. Just pops in and random funny things just pop in my head. It used to get me in trouble a lot in school. I used to just randomly burst out into laughter. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but um, what I was gonna say to you. So you're extremely successful in what you do. Um, one of you're in the spice industry. You're extremely successful. And finding a man you mentioned yesterday, like, you know, isn't a massive priority for you. But I was, I wanted to dig deeper into that. Surely there must be a little bit of like, you know, I want Prince Charming to come along. The Prince of Beat is actually Prince Charming, really, isn't it? It's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, you know, there's a lot of, um, what's that saying? There's a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing. Wow. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So it's yeah i mean in an ideal world fantastic but you know i have a lot of male friends at the same time wow. so, you know it's nothing i can get companionship and i can get all of this from different places but yeah i mean in an ideal world fantastic wonderful um but i don't suppose it's the be all and end all for me okay um and in your sort of like your special career that you have sort of like is it just you or is there other people in these videos with you is in do i con create content with other people yeah yes i do create content with other people oh, i have well. a, a very nice circle of uh, content creator friends uh, female and male um and i do create content with with all of them wow that, so that that's going to be a bit tricky to find apart that's going to be a bit tricky dating then isn't it <laughs> <laughs> it depends what content you create really isn't it <laughs> yes i suppose so <laughs> yeah um yeah yeah that could be an issue of dating of course um but obviously you're doing extremely well and extremely successful so it's like it's not a priority right now for you you're just like i'm living my best life i can do what i want i can almost see who i want you know and not not be tied down by anyone so I get that. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, without meaning to sound big headed, because that's certainly not my intention, I, I am aware that as a female, I am I am very rare. I mean, like the 0.01% of humans that are this size. So I know what I bring to the table, respectfully. Mm -hmm. So it's not a priority of mine because I just think that the right person will come along, mm -hmm. you know, whenever, whenever that may be. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as you were doing that, 
adjustment with your hands and the long ass nails. I can't help but notice those hands of yours again. <laughs> My hands. Yes, your hands. The size of your hands. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Peter, she she said I have got short fingers, guys. And you have got short fingers. I have not got short fingers. People would, my hands are huge when I put my hands up against like most people's. You Do have I, short fingers. I do not have short fingers. Guys, do I have short fingers? No way. You have short fingers. My hands are massive. When people see my hands, they're like, those hands are massive. When they see yours, and t tell tell everyone a fun fact about those hands of yours, what they can do. Uh, according, which, oh, about the apples, I can crush apples. Wow. Wow. Well, like proper apples, you just grab them with your hand and just... Yeah, crush. I mean, it doesn't happen in like a split second, but yes, I can, I can crush apples with my hands. Wow. That's, that could be a little dangerous in the industry that you're in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Blue bit, hell yeah. I mean, that could be a little dangerous. You're like, yeah, just, just, um, just, comment, just. They're saying those hands will pick you up, mate. Uh, uh, I don't think I don't. No, nah, no. Nah. I told you, I can pick you up. There's no, there's no picking me up. No, no one picking me up. I'm, I'm yeah. You can't pick me up. I'm like, I'm. Uh, what's the big? What's the heaviest person you've picked up? Twenty-eight stone. Twenty-eight stones. Damn. <laughs> Damn, girl. I don't do it wasn't for a long period of time. Yeah, but I did do it. Wow. How did that even logistically happen? Was it a muscly a muscular person or was it like a sort of roundy oh, person? More chunky but funky. Wow, that must have been very difficult for you to well, what is your what's your what's your wingspan? you I'm making it sound like you're a blimmin' bird of prey, but what's your wingspan like of your arms? My wingspan is actually the same as my height. Oh yeah, that's actually true actually. That's a, that's a, that's a fact actually, isn't it? That's yeah. insane. Yeah, that is absolutely nothing. insane. Can, can, can I just see, can, can we see you just like, see we see that? that how, how long is your hand then? Actually your hand. Blimmin' hell man, that's like a bird. If you, 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 just, you just need some wings. Like you'd be like a massive bird of prey in the sky. Just, that is just huge. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I, it doesn't do it justice. Like when we do our interview in person, like then people are gonna see properly. And obviously you can go check on our page, go check on our profile as well and see just how humongous she is. <laughs> And apparently, apparently she's added two friends that are a bit making her a bit more um, <laughs> perky. I have, yes. I've, I've, I'm like a week post up now. Okay. Well, oh, okay. Okay. How how was that whole process anyway? And what made you decide to do it? Uh, I just thought they would better suit my frame. Okay. So it was literally it was it was a work thing really. Mm, mm. I, su I suppose that does sort of boost. I suppose that does definitely boost the sort of you know. Yes, it, def it definitely will. So it's just, it's just a bit of resting and R and R at the moment until things are where they need to be, mm -hmm. and then they'll be, they'll be out on show. Wow, wow, wow! So they haven't, they haven't made a debut yet, then? No, not yet. Ain't nobody wanting to look at these right now, man. I promise you. <laughs> okay, we've got a couple of questions in here. Um, someone asks, can we see your muscles? My muscles? Which muscles? I've got a lot of muscles in my body. Uh, my tongue is my strongest I, I, muscle. I am... Your what? Everyone's tongue is the strongest muscle in your body. Wow, okay. Did you not know that? Uh, I've never heard that before. I think I've heard it before, but I don't know. Yeah. Go on then. The strongest muscle in the body. Show us those biceps of yours. Wow. Jesus. I mean, they're not, they're not huge. I'm expecting to lose more muscle because I can't go to the gym for a month. But... Oh, okay, okay. So what... <laughs> they're, not, they're not small. Uh, okay, and, and um, you've also got a request for your age, which is quite rude to ask a lady, but obviously a lady that's as young as, as young, as young as big as you, um, you can handle it. <laughs> I'm 29. Oh, okay, wow. Uh, still young, still young, still young. Yeah, 29, so wow. Rio next year. Okay, wow. Okay. Um, in terms of your legs, then, like you know, that must be a bit scary for guys. Like, I can't get over it. this lady can crush watermelons with her thighs, guys. How scary is that? Yeah, um, one at a time. I can crush watermelons in between my thighs. Wow. You, I think I think you should do that. That'd be hilarious for a video. Like you just find this guy, <laughs> you find this guy, then you get like a watermelon, you crush it, then you get two get loads of apples, you just keep breaking them with your hands. Like, I come on. <laughs> videos like that that is like a custom video that people request from me wow people can request custom videos from you can they yeah i literally that's what i do on my extra page i i've literally been filming all morning actually doing customs so wow. yeah 
I film specific customs for people. Wow, wow. Could you put your hands like that, please, and just... Oh my, look at that, guys. That is, that is crazy. That looks like, uh, that's gonna be the thumbnail, guys. That is gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and with the nails as well that look bad. <laughs> i like my nails they make my hands look more feminine you can't have huge hands like this and no nails oh my god oh my jesus god. christ <laughs> those hands that just oh we, we need to see have you done any acting or anything before well, you'd be, i think you'd be a sick villain oh what an uh, acting acting yeah have you done any acting i said i said you'd be a, good, a really good villain I'd be a good villain, how rude. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. I'll be the one that saves everybody. Oh, I suppose so. You could be a superhero. Yeah, I suppose you could be a superhero as well. What would just your... um, I've got a Xena outfit that I wear quite often. Oh wow. And does that I suppose that turns a few heads? Yeah, that's what I watch Comic Con. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was wearing that in my video that got seven point seven million. Oh, look, she froze that in. Seven point seven million. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite proud of that. It's a simple video of me walking through Comic Con in a Xena outfit, and it hits seven point seven mil. So you know. Wow! 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 So, what's next for you then? Like, you know, everything's going great in your career. You know, next sort of like, is there any sort of plans for the next five years? How to make your life ten times better? Uh, well, I don't know. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. That's mm -hmm. right. I'm setting up the YouTube channel. Indeed. Which, like, helping so guys you can go and check out the link in my insta because i will be posting it very shortly um we're gonna do some funny videos aren't we so i think we'll probably throw my focus into that for a little while wow yeah definitely definitely they well they do like you know tiktok is obviously massive and it's really good to be sort of like found by like you know just a random audiences they can just sort of come in the algorithm hits and they come in but youtube is actually 10 times better and it's got a much bigger audience like you know like billions yeah. Billions of people, like just billions of people are on YouTube. And the shorts are actually really, really good. I've actually started doing a few more shorts myself just to make a few more funny ones. You've probably watched one or two, but <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a bit, I haven't actually put them on TikTok just yet, but yes. So guys, Amazonian Charlie, she's on YouTube as well. Make sure you all go over and follow her page. It has been great talking with you. Um, any plans for the rest of the day? No, I'm going to finish my customs, which I've got another three backed up. So I'll be finishing them off, sending them off, and I'm literally just chatting to my fans on my on my page. Wow, guys, it seems like you guys need to get over there and say hello. Um, Amazonian Charlie, it's been a pleasure talking to you once again, and hopefully this recording saves. <laughs> hopefully. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Great chatting to you, and um, hit me up. I will.